Angela Bishop from Channel 10 News. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> congratulations. Thank you. Um, how much of a challenge was it for you to work with George on this? I mean, it's great having the freedom, but also you had a lot of challenges. The challenge wasn't George. No. George is amazing. <laughs> George um, is amazing. Jo it's George's vision and we were just helping, you know, facilitate it, create it. Um, he, I think, syncs very much. That's why we're working on it along the same wavelengths as we do. Yeah. Um, I think all his crew were very much a part of his process, you know, that his creative process. So I think we were all like, you know, absolutely conduits for his. Yeah. Yeah. And and so just totally is. wanted to be there. It wasn't a challenge for that part of it. No. The location was a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to 228 and then over to 254. We keep hearing about his wonderful vision, and obviously you're getting so much rewards tonight for, for realizing that vision. How does that process work? Did he give you sketches? Did he describe the character? Did he describe the vehicles? You know, how did it go from his mind to this coordinated world? Well, George is a storyteller. You know, that's what he does, what he is, I think. And he's a very good communicator. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, I think it's um, all of those things. Yeah. It wasn't one single thing. Mm. The vision was very much in his head and he was fantastic yeah, at communicating it and used a lot of people to get that. That's it. And I, I've known George since 1981 was the first job I did with George. So um, for me, it was like he'd, he'd start talking and you start visualising yourself and you start mm. working it. And then, you know, there was this massive office with these just fantastic, you know, from beginning to end and all around it were, you know, story different storyboards and different mm. artists that were working on comic books, everything at the same time. So you had the Japanese version, the, you know, the all different versions of things. And then you just had to go in there and start thinking along with George and... Um, immerse like, yourself in the world. Immerse yourself, Completely yeah. immersed in yeah. his... Yeah. And vision. work out a day in the life of, a week in the life of, <clears throat> what was available to all those people around them in this post-apocalyptic world. You could create your own world and with you know, with George's stamp of approval on it, so. We're going to 254 and then back to 176. Damien, this is a question for you. Um, I was sitting on the plane out to Los Angeles with someone who said that they were your aunt and to they were coming right in for the awards and <laughs> said to tell you hello, congratulations, hey. and said they wanted to meet you. Fantastic. So, thank congratulations. You. My thank aunt, you. Aunt, Gertrude, she's here, yeah, she's yeah. gone over to New York. <laughs> Great to have some family. We're going to 176 and then ending with 214. Hi, uh, congratulations to you all. The uh, Makeup and Hair Awards, you talked about the challenge of all the sand that you constantly had to <laughs> remove from your actors. I wonder if there were some other very unique and special challenges that went into working with the, the makeup and hair on this movie. I think metal, sand, yeah. stunts. Um, stunts. <laughs> we had a Everything. huge stunt. It's a very, very physical film, so yeah. obviously yeah. there's a lot of contact that yeah. had to be managed yeah and I, I was about halfway up the tires on some of the vehicles so you know we had to, had to learn to climb and you know yeah. up ladders and down ladders and it, it was you know it wasn't there were multiple, easy multiple yeah. challenges yeah and we'll wrap um, up with 214. yes uh jeff slonan now with a question from really? yahoo and oh, really? oh, exactly. my question is over here sorry oh, oh sorry okay. um who had the toughest morning in the makeup chair how many hours and uh, who got off easy with a great look? <laughs> I don't think anyone got off easy. No, I mean, we had Nicholas Holt in makeup for two and a half, two to two and a half hours a day. Yeah. And he was on about 77 times, so I mean, it, that was quite long. Yeah. Um, but, mm. but I mean, Slit's makeup was a little bit longer, yeah. but he was Similar, on less. He, yeah, he, yeah, he was on, on a little days. bit longer. But and then Miss Giddy was, yeah. Miss oh, yeah. was our longest, but the she tattoo, wasn't on for as many history days. History woman. She yeah. was five hours on one day, she slept in the tattoos. And then we put the wig and everything on the next day, so seven hours in total her makeup took. She kept it on for three days, and then we removed it, which took about two oh, hours. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, and congratulations. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all.